Hi guys, it's Sam, and I am going to be doing the 99 questions tag. I was watching Kristen Games' video on it. I just thought the questions were so much fun and random that I wanted to do it. And it's just a fun way for you guys to get to know me better. I have minimal makeup on, which is pretty obvious. Uh, I love makeup, but sometimes I just don't feel like putting, uh, like spending 20 minutes to do a full face. And I think everybody understands that, but um... I hope this is okay. I don't know. I'm just gonna let's get started because this is gonna be a long one. The first question is, and I probably shouldn't do for a second, third, 99 question. Okay. Uh, do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? I sleep with them. Um, well, you can see my closet actually. It's where that. Yeah, <laughs> it's this door right here. It's my closet, and it's open. And I have it stuffed so much that it won't close all the way. But I close it as much as possible so yes I keep my and I get some sort of I don't want to call it anxiety but it's unsettling feeling if that door is open maybe it's like all those stories that you hear where monsters are in the closet but I just like it closed as much as it can be do you take the shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels I do not anymore unless it's a brand that I really want to try uh but ever since Hurricane Sandy I know this is going to be like a weird story but I donated all of my toiletries and things like that which that was the least of what I could give the people who lost everything but after that I was just like oh you know I'm never using this stuff so I don't take shampoos and conditioners uh three do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out I actually don't like sheets I will I will put a fitted sheet around the mattress but I don't use the flat sheet that comes with a bed set I know so weird but I just like to use, oh, I just like to use, I have my quilt on my chair. I just like to use either a quilt like this that's breathable cotton or just a regular cotton sheet. I don't like fur uh, blankets either, which is, I know, some people love those. But for me, I just get hot really easily. So I don't use a sheet. And so they're not tucked in. I never answered the question. They're not tucked in or out. Uh, have you ever stolen a street sign before? For. I have not. I know friends that I have when we were, you know, younger, and I would have liked something with my name on it, but I'm too late now. I'm way too old to be stealing street signs. Do you like to use post-it notes? I do. I really like post-it notes. The way that I use them, I don't have them all over, but the way that I use them, sorry, I have dog hair all over. Uh, the way I, that I use them is on my phone I, and you know everybody uses their phone nowadays but um I'll put a post-it note on top of my phone if it's something really important that I have to do or get do you cut out coupons but then never use them I used to and it's I, I used to cut out coupons for uh, makeup and soap and razors and things like that but now um, I know that I'm not gonna use them so I don't cut out coupons anymore I do have a bunch of bed bath coupons in my bag and uh, I, there was once a, a coupon for, not a coupon, but it was a, a, the, a place that was, Dunkin' Donuts had this thing for a month where you could get free coffee on Mondays and they would stamp it when it, you know, you got your coffee and I like, I love those coupons. Okay, enough about coupons. Uh, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? I'm trying to think of what would be the least painful death, and I have a feeling being attacked by a big bear would be the least painful, even though it would be very painful, than a swarm of bees. I feel like swarm of bees would be a very lengthy death. So, attacked by a big bear. Do you have freckles? No, I don't. I wish I had them, but I know people who have them wish that they didn't have them, but I think they look really cute, so I would like a few. If I could choose a number, I would like maybe six. Do you always smile for pictures? 99% of the time, I do smile for pictures, unless I look terrible, which right now I could probably classify as terrible, but I'll go like this. There's pictures of me like going like that. But not a lot of them. I smile for most of the pictures. What is your biggest pet peeve? I have a few things that are really annoying to me uh but i guess my biggest pet peeve is when people continually sniff their noses and not, not grab a tissue and i understand right now it's springtime so people are going to be sniffing sniffing a lot more but it just gets me i always have a pack of tissues but i'm overprepared but i just it's just like the constant <sighs> Over and over again. That's so annoying to me. I don't know if it makes me sound like a jerk, but that's one of my biggest pet, pe pe pet peeves. There are others, though. 
Do you ever count your steps when you walk? Nope. But what I do is, like, you know, the cracks in the sidewalk, I'll go over those once in a while. But it's not like an OCD kind of thing. Um, I just, stuff happens to be the way that I walk sometimes. I make it like a game, I guess. Uh, have you ever peed in the woods? Nope. Have you ever pooped in the woods? Nope. I don't, not outdoorsy, so I don't, I have, haven't been camping and, no, I have not. Have you ever danced even if there's no music playing? Yes, uh, I mean in the kitchen, I'll shuffle around and like, you know, while, uh, while I'm cooking um, in my room, maybe I'll do a spin or something. But um, yeah, I, do, I dance when there's no music playing. Do you chew your pens and pencils? No, I don't. My pens and pencils look very normal at the top of them. It kind of another pet peeve of mine is when people bite their nails. So it's kind of like the same thing. It's like your hands are a bit everywhere and to stick them in your nose I kind of get the same feeling with the pen so I don't put them into my mouth uh how many people have you slept with this week this is a funny question I haven't slept with anyone this week um I have slept with my dog but she's a pet not a person what size is your bed I have a twin and I know I'm an adult and that sounds really funny but I actually sleep in the fetal, fetal position so it doesn't I don't take up much room anyway and my room is so small like if I reach a little bit over there like I am touching the bed if I had a full size bed in here I would that's all that would be in here I would be sitting on the bed talking to you so I don't mind a, a twin size bed and my twin size bed has storage at the bottom so it's awesome uh, I got it from Ikea uh, let's see see what is your song of the week my song of the week is maroon five sugar i just absolutely love that song is it okay for guys to wear pink i think it is more than okay for guys to wear pink rock it i i just yeah guys look cute in pink if you can rock it wear it do you still watch cartoons i i I don't, I don't watch cartoons. I do have some downloaded onto my computer, like Pepper Ann and Daria, which I, I love, and The Simpsons, but I don't, I don't watch cartoons like I used to. Uh, what's your fav least favorite movie? There's two that buy for the first place spot, and one is a horror movie, which I don't know why I ever watched it. It was 1 a.m., I was alone, and I, I didn't know that that was what it was going to be and by the time I realized it was kind of like too late to turn it off because I was invested in it I guess you could say so my least favorite movie is House of a Thousand Corpses I that movie freaked me out so bad because I feel like it could pop it's possible this these people get lost in this backwoods country or whatever and there's these like cannibal people and they trap them and kill them and the ending is what it's not a happy ending so that's what really messed it up for me uh and then the other one is an indie film called gigantic with paul dano oh my goodness that movie was terrible don't watch it it's bad i know indie movies are supposed to be abstract but this was way far out there no uh where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some backyard i the i don't know refrigerator uh what do you drink with dinner water and actually there's something this is my drink from dinner time it's not what you think it is it's uh green tea and i'm just trying to and i'm gonna do a video on this um changing my diet and my lifestyle and things like that so um drinking green ginger green tea uh but usually, 9 out of 10 times, it's water. What do you dip a chicken nugget in? I like barbecue sauce, and I like uh, buffalo wing sauce. What is your favorite food? Uh, kimchi, which is a Korean cabbage spicy dish, uh, or side dish, and pasta. Really, any type of pasta. Uh, that's my favorite food, <laughs> which I'm trying to cut out, actually. What movies could you watch over and over and still love? I am notorious for watching TV shows, uh, listening to the same music, watching the same movies over and over and over again. Like, my sister will sometimes, like, you know, come hang out with me. And she's like, again? Like, I literally could watch the same movie, like, two times a day for, like, a month. I 
And I always go back every few months. I watch the same movies: Beverly Hills Cop, Ghostbusters, Indiana Jones, Ocean's Eleven, uh, True Lies, Eraser, uh, The Net. Just old, not old old movies, but just movies that are just fun and has some action. Night at the Museum, just movies that are fun and you don't really have to pay attention, but you know what's going on. I, I'm just, I love those movies. Uh, there's more to that list, but those are the ones I could think of right now. Last person you kissed, kissed you, my boyfriend? Oh, and actually Ava, my dog. <laughs> Were you ever a boy or girl scout? I... I know I mentioned I don't like the outdoors, but I would have been, I think I would have liked to be a Girl Scout. Maybe I'd be less afraid of bugs and I would know how to start a fire. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? If, not right now, but if I felt good about my body and, uh, there ever came a point where somebody, I don't know, Playboy offered me to pose nude, I would, but I would have to have some type of underwear on, whether it be a thong or whatever. Uh, but I wouldn't, I couldn't go full nude. Mm -mm. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone? On paper, I actually wrote a note to one of the winners of the giveaway, of my L'Oreal giveaway. I wrote a note saying thank you and, you know, other things. But I, I do feel the hand, the hand, I do feel the art of handwriting has disappeared. But I mean, I write letters from time to time. I know how to write a letter and address it right. <laughs> Uh, somebody asked me that. An older woman asked me that. She's like, do you know how to write a letter? You, I mean, you know how to put your name and address and on the front of the envelope and stuff. I was like, yes. Uh, can you change the oil on a car? Nope. The only thing I can do in, um, in my car is put in, uh, put gas in and uh, windshield wiper fluid. That's as far as my mechanical skills go on a car. Ever gotten a speeding ticket? knock on wood no i just i did just recently get a ticket though for um see this is taking longer because i'm trying to tell you stories on everything but eh, oh well uh i got a ticket for making a turn on left it was a two-way street but you could only turn right onto this onto the street you couldn't turn left and i turned left i have to say i was lost and I was spent six hours in the ER with my grandmother and I didn't know where I was and I was just like oh I'll... by the time I turned left it was already too late I did it by the time I noticed that you could only turn right and the cop even when he handed me the ticket he was like I'm sorry and I was just like okay yeah whatever um so that's that was actually my first ticket that I got uh ever ran out of gas nope I am way too prepared to run out of gas ever and yeah I just nope <laughs> Favorite kind of sandwich? My favorite sandwich is probably roast beef with rare roast beef with mozzarella uh, and like these cooked onions and this brown gravy. Check it out if you pass an Italian market or deli, it's awesome. Uh, best thing to eat for breakfast? My bad answer would be the McDonald's English sausage egg McMuffin. I absolutely love that, but I only eat that like once or twice a year. And I love savory breakfast. So eggs, any type of egg, sausage, toast, egg McMuffin. Uh, yeah, just I love savory stuff. Rarely do I get like pancakes or anything like that. What is your usual bedtime? I am a night owl, so anywhere from... Sorry, my nose is stuff. Uh, anywhere from, I don't know, 2 to 5. Um, I'm trying to change that, though. I'm trying to change a lot of things. Uh, are you lazy? I wish I could say no, but I am very lazy. When you were a kid, what did you dress up as Halloween? Come on, a princess. I must have been that for every year. I think I was a different princess. What is your Chinese astrological sign? I am a year of the pig, and I love bacon. Okay, I had, I had to take a short break there. Uh, how many languages can you speak? Well, before the age of six, I used to speak Korean. Uh, but now I, um, you know, since coming here, I only speak English, so one. Do you have any magazine subscriptions? No longer. I used to be subscribed to every single one. Vogue, People, Cosmo, Allure. But I just got, um, it got to the point where I just would stop reading it. And, uh... At the end of the year, I would just throw all of them away without reading them. So I don't have that many anymore. Which are better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? I 
neither, but I could go with Legos. Are you stubborn? I I don't think I am, but some people might perceive it as that way. But um, I just like to do things my way, I guess. And I'm trying to be better about being a little bit more carefree and um, letting things go with the flow. Who is better, Leno or Letterman? Before the Conan fiasco, I would have said Leno. I really liked watching him. But now after that, I don't know. He just seems not as friendly anymore to me. So Letterman. Ever watch soap operas? Yes. I used to, my, my grandmother, uh, you know, she raised me as much as my mom did because we all lived together. Uh, so she used to watch a CBS soap operas, Bold and Beautiful, Young and Restless, so I know about that. But I like the Channel 4 dramas, soap, uh, dra soap operas, uh, Days of Our Lives, General, Ho oh, General Hospital is Channel 7. Anyway, yes, the answer to that, yes. Are you afraid of heights? I am. I am very afraid of heights where I can't, um... In the mall, like, I'll try to practice, like, looking over on the second floor, which is not that high, and I'll get very nervous. Especially if it's a glass, like, uh, glass fence. Not fence. What is that? Barrier? Okay. Do you sing in the car? I do. When a song comes on, I'm, like, go really sing along with it, but I try to be discreet about it. Do you sing in the shower? No, I don't, actually. Unless I have my phone playing music, I, then I don't, uh, then I do. Uh, do you dance in the car? Rarely. Mm, once in a while. Ever used a gun? Nope. Uh, I'm scared of guns, actually. Uh, last time you got a portrait taken by a, photo by a photographer. Phot phot photographer. Oh my goodness. I was trying to say funny as a joke and I really couldn't end up saying it. Um, I guess at the last wedding that I went to, I must have gotten my picture taken. Do you think musicals are cheesy? Yes and no. I love old school musicals. I love classic movies with music in it and dancing, singing in the rain, Harvey Girls. Uh, but the last musical I saw, I don't even know if it counts, some Disney movies, Frozen. I was really like, I couldn't handle all the music that was in there. I'm not evil. I just, it was too much. Is Christmas stressful? I think Christmas is as stressful as you want to make it. I try to make my Christmas very unstressful by doing my shopping a little bit early, doing a lot of online shopping through Amazon, uh, going to the mall when it's not crowded or stores that you know you want to go to that are not crowded and yeah, that's my answer. Ever eat a pierogi? I actually recently did. I went to a Ukrainian restaurant and had a couple of pierogies. I love them. And this one has like different styles of pierogies where you can get it fried or, you know, uh, sauteed and different fillings. It's awesome. Uh, favorite type of fruit pie? I'm not a fan of fruit pies, but if I had to choose one, I guess I would say pecan pie, which is not a fruit. I like fruit tarts, so I'm going to say fruit tart. I love that. Uh, occupations you wanted to be when you were a kid. Uh, I think, you know, I really don't have an answer for this. I can't, I have the worst memory, first of all. And second, I might have been, I think I don't want to go with princess or actress. <laughs> do you believe in ghosts? I do. I do believe in ghosts. Ever have a deja vu feeling all the time? Somehow my dreams, I dream things and then they happen in real life. And it's like, you know, things that I do normally, like drive or, uh, eat something, I'll get like a feeling of deja vu. Uh, take a vitamin daily. It's sporadically. I'm trying to be on top of that now again. Uh, but two days straight, I've taken my vitamins, but it's very sporadic most of the time. But I'm going to keep on trying. Wear slippers. I mostly go barefoot around the house. I wear Old Navy flip-flops. I have one pair of Adidas flip-flops that I absolutely love and they, you know how they start to break where your, um, pretend this is like your foot, like this part right here of the shoe, like where you bend some, where it bends back sometimes when you're walking. I never found a pair that was as comfortable as those. So no. Wear a bathrobe only after the shower. Where, what do you wear to bed? Um, actually, something very similar to this uh, t-shirt and my Uniqlo, either lounge pants or the, what do you call those? Drape pants that they have. Very, very comfortable in shorts in the summertime. I'm losing my place here. I'm sorry. What? 
first concert. My first concert was the Backstreet Boys concert. And it was so awesome except for the girl behind me who was screaming, which I totally get. you seeing your favorite band. But she was screaming like she was getting murdered. It was really loud and blood curdling. It was just not fun. Uh, Walmart, Target, or Kmart. Target for sure. I just love that store. And I like Walmart too, but I like Target a little bit better. And Kmart, I barely go to. Nike or Adidas? Adidas. Cheetos or Fritos? Uh, Cheetos. Peanuts or sunflower seeds? Sunflower seeds? Uh, ever hear of the group Trey Bien? No, I know that means very good or very well. Ever take dance lessons? I did. I actually went... Um, I took ballroom dancing. There was a program at my elementary school that was really fun. Uh, so you did like the foxtrot and the waltz and the tango. And then I tried modern dance for a little bit when I was in high school. Is there a profession you picture your future spouse doing? Uh, no, I just whatever it is, I hope that they're happy um, doing whatever it is they're doing. Can you curl your tongue? Have you ever won a spelling bee? No, I have. I've never been in a spelling bee competition. As if I, I can't remember. Um, I don't think so. Have you ever cried because you were so happy? No, I have not. I only cry when I'm sad, uh, which is like you can cry when you're happy too. I'll work on that. Own any record albums? I own several records. I there was a point in my life where I wanted a record player and that's one of the questions is own a record player i do i was really into finding old records like at thrift stores and things like that if i came across uh somebody was giving away records i picked through some and dumpster diving i guess you could say I, if i see records i'll look through it to see if um if there's something i regularly burn incense no, I don't. I've just gotten into candles and I kind of bypassed that to wax candles and um, that love is dying down too. <laughs> Ever been in love? Of course. Well, I shouldn't say of course. Yes. Who would you like to see in concert? Uh, I think Maroon 5 would be fun. Megan Trainer, Adele. Just people who just... Maybe Adele wouldn't be like a fun concert, but just... Uh, people who just have fun with their music, I would love to see in concert. What was the last concert you saw? I I saw Madonna and it was awesome because she did a good mix of a good mix of her old song and her old songs and her new songs, which I love. Like if I saw Billy Joel and he just did her, his new stuff, I would be so sad because I would love to, I love his old stuff too. Hot tea or cold tea? Cold tea. Tea or coffee? Coffee all day, any day. Not even a choice. Sugar or snickerdoodles? Mm, snickerdoodles, I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't, it might be because I'm from New York. Uh, sugar. Can you swim well? I can hold my own. I was on the swim team, which means nothing in high school because my team was so bad. They, we, we had to get the other girls from the we had to get girls from the other team to be on our team because it was so small and nobody, we like, we just, this is for fun. Uh, so could you imagine a C division going against the A division in high school? It did not go well, but I, I like to swim and I know how to swim. I think I know how to swim well. Can you hold your breath without holding your nose? Yes. Are you patient? Uh, it's the same thing with like stubborn. I kind of like, I wish I was more patient. I think I'm patient, but I could always be more patient. And with stubborn, I'm stubborn and I could be less stubborn. Uh, DJ or band at a wedding? I would love to have a live band. I think that is so awesome um, when I when people have a live band at their wedding. Ever won a contest? I've won a few contests. Uh, ever have plastic surgery? Nope. And I've never had a major surgery either, like anywhere. And um, I wouldn't rule out plastic surgery. I just scared that you, like, you know, because some people get addicted to that. I just would never want to become like Catwoman. Which are better, black or green olives? Green olives, although I don't eat olives. <laughs> can you knit or crochet? I can. I can start it. I can get through most of it. And then I don't know how to end it. Best room for a fireplace? I'm going to go with family room. I've had a couple. You know, I've lived in a few homes, and two of them had fireplaces in the living room, which is really cozy and nice. 
Do you want to get married? I, I, the idea of marriage sounds nice, but it's not something that I'm like, I have to do. It's, I feel like it's more pressure from society for me to get married, but I don't know a rush to get married. If married, how long have you been married? Nope. Who was your high school crush? There was this guy named Chris, and he was a, on a football team. Uh, he was really cute and smart and just so unattainable. Like he was God, super, uh, you know, super God and a football player and just so, I was down here and he was older than me. Uh, but I remember him, I remember that as being my first real crush. I had like celebrity crushes, but like he was my first real crush. Do you cry and throw a fit until you get your way? No, I don't. Do you have kids? No. Do I want kids? It's the same thing as marriage. It's an, I would, but it's just more like pressure for me, to, I feel like, to have kids. Um, I'm not in a rush. Ava is a handful, and I'm not comparing kids to dogs, but I could just imagine all the attention that Ava needs, and I know a baby needs like 10 times more, so no. Not in a rush. Um, I want them, but not not anytime soon. What's your favorite color? I black, of course, and I love actually. I've been really attracted to blush type colors, um, whether it be pink or peach, just that really pretty blush color. Um, do you miss anyone right now? I do. Okay, so that is the end of the 99 questions tag. This, is, this was really fun to do. It's long though, so I'm not going to tag anyone in particular, but if you want to do it, go ahead. I, I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope you learned one or two things about me. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!